Hello, beautiful stars out there, earth, air, fire, and water. I hope everyone has been staying prayed up, blessed up, and doing what you do best. It is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Mr. nice afternoon 40. out here in Rain Child's Corners. And I hope you all continue to do no other than have fun and just stay on your paths, okay? And so how's everyone been doing? I just hope everyone has been doing great, 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 great on this beautiful, beautiful day. It's beautiful and sunny and clear. It's, I don't know what where I'm located at. And um, I just hope everyone is enjoying the beautiful, beautiful sunshine, you know, wherever they may be or wherever you may be in this world, okay? And so I just came back to give you all another message, another message, another message. And um, let me go ahead and get my hands clean. I want to feel my thing up, yeah. Yeah, so I got some messages. All right. Get this communication come out through, okay? And let me clear any kind of neg negativity on your behalf and mine. Your girl has been out and about and we just want to get a positive message. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Alright, and so I've been hearing for actually from yesterday until today there is more there is much much more this is not all there is there is more and we all know that we all know this you know this is nothing new nothing new at all but there is more to learn so much more that we need to be learning you know um and um i've come across some more new new things I almost said I come across some new technology <laughs> but no nah, I came across some new 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 information and um when the time is right and when spirit said it's okay you know um I will be able to start you know showing these new things that I came across but there is more you know um there is no one way to do, you know, certain things. You know what I'm saying? There's more ways than just one, okay? You know, and what I'm talking about, if you're not familiar with this channel here, I'm talking about um, there's more than one way to do readings, you know what I'm saying? There's more than one way to um, reverse negativity back to where it came from. There's more than one way to... Um, you know manifest things for yourself there is god knows how many ways you know it ain't and it's not even just that you know what i'm saying but um the point of this message right here is to not doubt anything that you have learned from anybody you know if someone has taught you something and you've learned something from someone you know from either a person on the street that you just met um another tarot reader um you know someone who does intuitive readings whatever you have learned know that um you know everything takes time and there is no you just cannot you cannot doubt you know what i'm saying there is no need to doubt okay and so um i'm gonna go on ahead and proceed with these messages and you know I understand we cannot always see what it is you know that is working for us but can you see Wi-Fi you know it works Wi-Fi works can you see it no you can't see it but it's working right okay all right so um why why on earth would anything as far as you know uh, spirituality or Whatever you may call it. Why would it not work? You know what I'm saying? Especially if it's positive. You always know the positive. You know. They always say plug in the positive to the negative. You know what I'm saying? 
to get a, you know, a really good connection. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes you have to do that. You know, you might have to listen to a few ugly stories about yourself. You know, you might have to go through the process of going through these ugly things. You know, we call this the dark night of the soul. And then you connect the positive. And then you get what? You get a very good connection. You know what I'm saying? Because you haven't been through all the trials and tribulations and everything you had to go through in this lifetime. And so you are learning. You know what I'm saying? You are learning. And that's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. All right? But, um, yeah. You connect the positive, the new you, with that old negativity, old you. To get a positive connection because you already know the things that you've done in the past that were wrong the things that you must face and forgive yourself for and forgive others you know when you connect it with the things that you're no longer doing anymore because this mess don't serve you you know this is going to be the good connection if you can see this here you know this is just an example okay and so, um, yeah, I just had to get that little part of the message out, all right? And, um, you know, that's why we have to listen to certain messages and, and go through the process. And, you know, sometimes people be like, but I go to some of these readers and they're always talking about this negative stuff. Well, you know, you're going to have to face these negative things, you know, because if it doesn't apply to you, then don't even listen to it. If it don't apply to you, don't listen to it. But if you feel a way about it and, it and it's triggering you, then maybe you might want to listen to it. And maybe you might want to get past that because it might be something that you dealt with or something you did. You know, not trying to throw things at you or whatever. But I mean, this is all a part of learning. Learning what to do and what not to do and learning how to overcome you know the negative part of your soul you know so you know people can make you so mad sometimes so angry you know to the point where you might want to just say a certain thing and don't you know your words hold power you could just say something and then it might even happen to that person you know you just never know, especially if you're not familiar with your gifts and what you're gifted with. You gotta watch your mouth. Watch what you say to yourself. Watch what you say to others because you might end up doing something to hurt somebody. You could possibly even hurt yourself and then you're gonna have to go Discipline back of actions and your mouth. And start all over again and, and get through that process and then you're gonna just be like, oh my God, what did I do? You know, and then you're going to be conflicted in your brain and your head and everything else. Like, did I really cause that? Well, you know, learn who you are. Master yourself. You know what I'm saying? You know, um, like I said, there are some good readers out here that, that actually specialize in these type of things. Like Kim Arts, for, you know, for instance. I love her. You know what I'm saying? She is um, one real person. She's not going to just tickle your little ears and make you feel good about yourself when you haven't even really done the work. You know what I'm saying? You know, yes, I have um, even got readings from her and everything. And I'm telling you, that person is one of one of the greats that's, you know, that's on this platform. You know, um, you can even check out uh, Amber Cam uh, from, let me see, the uh, Revolution. The Revolution. You know what I'm saying? And I, like I say, I, I usually put links below, you know, for the good readers that's on here that's actually teaching things. And, um, you know, things that you really don't know about that you might want to learn about. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm not the master at all of these things, you know. But like I say, Kim Arts now, uh, <laughs> she knows a lot. And that's just one person that I can direct you to that I know for a fact that she teaches a lot. Okay? Alright. And so let's get to your message. Alright? And let's see what we need to know. And what spirit wants to hand to us. Okay? Nothing but the highest light. God Almighty, Archangels, Ancestors. Evil is never welcome here. Thank you, spirit.
Ooh. <laughs> I don't even know if I want to take this one. I uh, just thought I'd get this one. These knots. <laughs> if you hear any noise in the background, ignore. Okay, and I'm I'm not I've had to come back on here and I am not I have not put my SD card in my phone, but I will be doing it after this. Um I'm not gonna I just had to get rid of um some junk out of my phone. And it cut off on me, and I'm not going to um, reshuffle this deck. But um, these are the ones that came out, and I'm just going to go ahead and keep them. Go ahead and keep them. Okay, and like I was saying, when I went to look up, and then I realized, okay, don't cut off on me again. Okay. All right. Um, the Knight of Swords. All right. It's like um, you know, someone here is on a mission. You know what I'm saying? And there is no stopping anything. You know what I'm saying? So if someone tried to stop you or, you know, plant some kind of doubt or anything in your head, you know, there's no stopping you. You know what I'm saying? You're moving along and moving forward. You know what I'm saying? You're understanding, you know, with this message here that, um, you know, things are going to work out because you have been doing a lot of hard work. You know what I'm saying? You've been on this normal you know type of routine and you just been slowly but surely just getting yourself you know in the um in the groove of things and you know learning you know what i'm saying you know um you know slow and steady always wins the race you know financial growth achievement good investments you know you've been doing some type of good investments you know what i'm saying and then we have the two of wands the two of wands you know is planning you know planning ahead it says uh you've been hit with a spark of inspiration now you must figure out how to turn that fire into action be sure to lay the groundwork before blasting forward so that you don't stumble over your own feet let your intuition guide you you know so yeah you got this intuition that's inside of you you're you're burning you know what i'm saying so whatever it is that you're working on whatever it is that you're learning whatever the case may be you know you're going full steam ahead child you're not even playing you know what i'm saying you're you're doing it you know this could be a gemini libra aquarius or this could be some type of air that's in your chart you know what i'm saying or you could possibly be a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. You know what I'm saying? And um, and also, <laughs> Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius is here. So, you know, these things could possibly be, you know, in your um, chart. And then we also have, you know, once upon a time, you know, negative thoughts, self-imposed, restriction, you know, imprisonment, you know, victim, you know, mentality, restrictions, feeling isolated, feeling left out. You know, you in the past, you know, you was feeling uh -oh, left out. You know, this is a Gemini Libra Aquarius energy card. You know, you basically imposed all this upon yourself. You know what I'm saying? You felt like you was being left out. You know what I'm saying? You know, you, you, um, these are like, it says your previous thought pattern may be no longer of use to you. You know what I'm saying? You need to let these things go, you know, if you haven't already. And then, you know, just full, go on ahead, full steam ahead. You know what I'm saying? You know, because your hard work is going to, you know, pay off. You know what I'm saying? Because you got plans. You got things that you want to be doing. You know what I'm saying? Stay out of this. You know, get out of your um head. Get out of your own way. You know what I'm saying? You know, this person, you know, she's look like she's a little bound up, but it don't look like it's all that. You know what I'm saying? She did that to herself, child. You know, because she could easily just walk forward. The, the swords are behind her, you know, and she got the blindfold on and got this little thin thing on her child what you need to do rip that apart rip that off of you you know what i'm saying like i told you earlier you know there are new things that are coming forward that you that you can learn you know what i'm saying there is no one way of doing nothing you know you can do these things yourself with your own mental 
you know, your own mental strength. Use your mental strength, all right? And then we got the Queen of Wands here. You know what I'm saying? It says you're finding yourself to be self-aware and confident as you, do, you know, as you're discovering, you know, your life purpose. Okay, so someone here is, you know, you're, you're discovering your life purpose. You know what it is that you're supposed to be doing in this world. You know what I'm saying? You know what you want. And you know how you're going to get it. You know what I'm saying? And it's, you know, they're letting you know here with this card right here. It says stay um, laser focused and keep that friendly, optimistic attitude. You know, it'll serve you well. You know, just continue to be happy. You know, courageous, confidence, independent, focus, you know, zest for life, determined, you know, and keep the joy. Keep the joy. You know what I'm saying? And just keep it moving forward. All right. And then we also have, you know, the eight of wands, you know, you're very busy, you know, speed, action, movement, swift change. You know what I'm saying? Sudden action manifesting quickly results, quick decisions, air travel. You know what I'm saying? It says you're busy, but this is a great thing. It says you're um, productive and making great, you know, strides. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, everything that you've been doing, you know, you're being productive, you're making great strides, you know. You know, maybe in you know in the past or something, you might have been a little slow at trying to get things done. But now you're you're basically going full steam ahead. You know, you're trying to get there, and you're gonna get there because child ain't nothing stopping this. Look at him, child. <laughs> that mug is like uh uh, and got the sword up. And like if you get in my way, if you get in my way, you gonna get cut. <laughs> it's not even playing. And, um, all right, and so um, be mindful of where your energy needs to be placed and, you know, and be wise of where you use your energy. You know what I'm saying? You already know if things that, you know, you have already repeated, you know, already done, you know what I'm saying? You already worked on, then you might not need to be going back, you know, learning more things on what it was that you already done you know if it's somebody that done something or something you had to deal with when you was you know learning these little processes or whatever it is that you might have been doing i mean it's like yeah it's okay to go back and get a like a little taste a little refresher but don't be dwelling in that energy you know what i'm saying if it's something that was negative you let it go you forgave it you moved on I wouldn't even go back and touch it, child. Maybe you might want to go back and just take a little peek or whatever, but you know, I wouldn't even stay there, okay? All right, and so the King of Cups, all right? It says emotionally balanced, compassion, you know, um, diplomatic, control, balance, supportive, leader, tolerance, empathetic. So, you know, this is someone that's empathetic, you know, a Cancer, a Scorpio, or a Pisces, you know, this is a water sign, all right? It says the King of Cups is telling you to use your emotions and impulses wisely with equality all right balance your wants with the desires of you know others and show that you are the sensitive leader that everyone needs be mature with negative energies so it says be mature with negative energies you know what i so you know this could possibly be someone that's coming into your life or whatever, you know, so when you have to deal with some some type of negative energy or whatever the case may be, this could be you or this could be someone that's coming into your life. You know, this is going to be someone if they're just coming into your life, this is going to be someone that's coming, you know, that they know how to deal with negative energies. You know what I'm saying? They know how to deal with it, you know. And they're mature about negative energies and mature about negative people and the things that they do. Or this could possibly be you. And it's the beautiful thing if it's you or someone coming into your life. You know what I'm saying? And keep keep working. You see, this person is just diligently working on what it is that they want. You know what I'm saying? And just keep it. Keep doing it. You know, if this is a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn, you know what I'm saying? Diligence passion hard work you know high standards mastery you know apprenticeship talent skills development positive you know and potential you know what i'm saying the eight of pentacles may be telling you to chase after education you know going back to school or something like that so maybe it's something that you possibly need to go back and learn you know what i'm saying you know so you can master these things and like i was telling you earlier if it has anything to do with spirituality and you don't know exactly where you need to go. You know, like I said, I put some links below, you know, so you could go 
and listen to some people who, you know, pretty much, you know, are on some master level levels at some things, okay? And then, you know, you could also look online and get books and stuff like that, you know. Um, and if it has anything to do with, you know, just leveling up, you know, like in um, business or, um, you know, leveling up with any kind of schooling or, you know, furthering your education, you know, you go online, you look at these things, you know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure a lot of you all had been to college for things, but some of you might not have, you know, been to college, you know what I'm saying? And if you haven't, you know, that's okay. You can just go online and look up some things and, you know, sign yourself up for school, you know, further your education, you know, however you want to do it. There's no one way, like I said, to do anything. You could do it all different kind of way now, you know, nowadays. All right, and then we have the star here. You know, it says hope, calm, healing, faith, purpose, you know, renewal, spiritual, spirituality, fortune, good omen, and, you know, rejuvenation. You know, the star is a good card. You know, Uranus, you know, Aquarius, you know what I'm saying? You know, it says uh, you have a renewed sense of self and magic is flowing all around you, okay? This is the time of great personal growth and development. Give of yourself and your spirit you know as others may benefit from blessings you've received so you know you know you might get blessings you know you might get messages blessings or anything you know don't be you know hoarding things you know what I'm saying you know try to uh, bless others with what it is that you know I mean it could be anything like you could possibly be a person who knows a lot about education and you know somebody might need to know something about uh what do i need to do to get you know get to this point and get to that point and you can just bless them by giving them knowledge you know any kind of knowledge that is good you know what i'm saying you know be sure to bless others with what it is that you are prospering you know because you know they said they say it's a fortune good omens you know you have good omens you have a, a renewed purpose in life you know what i'm saying because you're not stopping. <laughs> You're moving forward. You know, it's all right here. You know, you done been through these dark nights of the souls and everything. And you're just going to keep it moving forward and keep it flowing great. All right. And the, magi the magician is here. Mercury. And it's like, you know, air. You know what I'm saying? Like I told you, air. Like Wi-Fi. You can't see it, but it works. You know, action, creation, manifestations, power, self-confidence, clarity, willpower skill creativity the magician is pointing to the capability and resources at your disposal the mind and the universe are only reflections of one of one another you know what i'm saying remember that you are powerful so that the outer world may recognize your strength the magician okay and so they're letting you know you are very powerful. You keep moving on your path. You don't let nobody stop you. Keep moving forward. You know what I'm saying? Um, continue with your um, hard work. You know? You got all these great ideas. Don't let nobody stop you from it. You know... Don't get tied up like this no more. Don't tie yourself up. Because can't nobody tie you up like this but yourself. You know what I'm saying? And I just heard somebody say, well, what about if you get kidnapped? <laughs> Child, we're not on this negative vibration. You know what I'm saying? We're trying to be positive here. Keep your mind positive. Keep your mind positive. You know, pray to the archangels. You know, pray to God Almighty. You know what I'm saying? To keep you safe. Keep everything positive. Keep it in light. All right? Then we had the Queen of Wands, you know. Continue to focus. You know what I'm saying? Stay determined. Stay determined. Stay determined. You know? And everything will start to speed up for you if it ain't already like that now. You know what I'm saying? Everything will start to speed up. 
So, you know, you possibly could be meeting a king or these might just be qualities within yourself. You know what I'm saying? A king, you know, that understands things that you have possibly been through. You know what I'm saying? You know, under he, this person is, a, you know, this could be a male or female because it's all energy here. You know what I'm saying? This is a person, you know, like I was saying earlier, you know, they're, you know, they're mature with negative energy. So, you know. They understand that, you know, you possibly had to go through some things in life. You know what I'm saying? And they're going to understand you. Or once you get yourself, you know, to a nice place where you are um, able to give back, you're going to understand how negative energies have, you know, could, could possibly hold you back with your thinking and stuff like that. And... You'll be able to talk to people about your journey and everything. You know what I'm saying? It could work either way. All right? And just keep working diligently. You know what I'm saying? At whatever pace that you might be at. Because you have all these beautiful dreams and stuff that's coming, you know, that you are working on. And you're going to make it happen because you are the magician. Okay? Alright, and so I'm going to go ahead and put these cards away. And I hope this message right here just helps someone. And I'm going to go on ahead and get some uh whew, the cosmic journey and see what else spirit has for you. Okay. Alright. All right, nothing but the highest light. God Almighty, Archangels, Ancestors, evil is never welcome here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, so that that pretty much was just to the to the point. And it looks like everything's gonna work out just fine because you have what it takes. You have what it takes, and can nobody that has been trying to hold you back with trickery with you know slander whatever the case may be they cannot hold you back because you got too much drive you got too much in you you think it's gonna work out and then you're gonna be looking back like oh my god <laughs> okay Ancestor, we have Star Seed, and we have your three year old self. And I'm going to read these out of the book. I pretty much know what these are, but I'm going to read them out of the book, okay? All right, we have Ancestor. So I'm reading this from the book. I'm gonna put this right here so you can see it. within your lineage made you somehow they managed to survive and thrive in order to ensure you are here okay your ancestors make up a portion of who you are but you 
get to choose which piece you utilize. It's not fixed or predetermined. So it's not fixed or predetermined. You know what I'm saying? Should your ancestors speak in terms of, you know, community, family, and right relationships? Pick any ancestor from your family tree to bring into conversation. They're all watching and rooting for you, okay? And, all right, it says, do you have a message for me? You know, you can ask them something like that. You know, ask your ancestors, do you have a message for me? What was, you know, your relationship like with your mother or father? What did you, you know, long for but never realized? What are your most proud, what are you most proud of, you know, that not everyone knew about? You know, what do you wish you could pass along? What do you still need forgiveness for? You know, you can, these are things you can ask your ancestors, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, nowadays, you know, here in America, we have so many different, so many different ancestors within our lineage, you know what I'm saying? So, you can pretty much pick, you know what I'm saying? And if you don't know exactly what's in your lineage, you know, you could always get a DNA test done or whatever the case may be. You know, it's up to you. You know, there's no right or wrong way, you know, to do these things. You know, you can just speak to your ancestors and be like the ones that are known and the ones that are unknown. You know, like, you know, a lot of a lot of us here in America, we have so many different lineages, you know, within ourselves. You know what I'm saying? You know, some people say we have African, you have Native American. Um, you know, there's a lot going on with that, you know, with the Native American and, you know, African ancestral you know, you know, Haitian or whatever, you know, like I have Haitian, I have a Native American, you know what I'm saying, as far as Choctaw, you know, and um, I have Irish in me, and um, those are the things that I have within me, you know what I'm saying, I even have like some far away Asian, you know what I'm saying, that's in my lineage, and so um, it's a lot, you know, to take on, it's, it's, it's real deep when you really think about these things. And, you know, um, but your ancestors are here and they're saying you can ask them anything, you know, and they will communicate with you. They communicate in the most unique ways. You know what I'm saying? And um, they communicate through music. They communicate through numbers. You know, you might even see something more than once throughout your day. And then, you you know, you'd be wanting to know. You might even see little animals or anything, you know. And you can look these things up and find out the meanings and realize that, okay, maybe it's your ancestor that's trying to communicate with you. All right. And then we have star seed. All right. Okay. So let me, oops. This up here. Star seed. Oh, so you can see it. All right. And this one says, The right seed always blooms, just as an acorn is blueprinted to grow into a mighty oak tree. You, too, carry the seeds of the universe within you, ready to spring forth. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it says, the words, you know, mean the fullest real realization of a thing. Of a thing. You know, it always starts out, you start out as just something really, really tiny. And then you just bloom into something beautiful. Realization of things, of something so tiny that could just bloom into something so beautiful. You know what I'm saying? It could be just the tiniest little thing. And it blooms into something so beautiful it just, you know, just explodes. You know what I'm saying? All right, it says it's like the highest self, you know, guiding you to thrive in the greater, you know, the greater mystic story unfolding. Your star seed has been planted or more accurately planted on, you know, here on earth for a season. Invoke your, you know, invoke yourself, you know, to hear more. So invoke, you know, to hear more, you know, by um, asking, you know what I'm saying? Be like, I invoke, you know, to learn more. I want to learn more and just keep invoking these things. You know what I'm saying? And it says, um, what have I, what have 
I've been seated to do. You know, you can ask these questions, you know, to God Almighty, your archangels and ancestors. What have I been seated to do? What else can I do to nourish and water my own star seed? What are the seeds I've already planted that are um, ready to spring forth? You know what I'm saying? This is what is my role in this mystic story unfolding? What greater gifts can I activate now? Where is my true home? How can I activate my cosmic DNA? And this is, can you see that? These are questions you can ask. Okay. You know, because we're all beautiful star seeds. It's just up to you to decide if you want to, you know, um, bloom into something beautiful. You know what I'm saying? It's totally up to you. You get the choice here. Okay. Your three-year-old self. It says three, but I call it your hundred and hundred, you know, an eleven-year-old self. <laughs> so hold on, let me um get this needed for this card, okay? Let me put this right here. All right, your 111 year old self wants to provide you, you know, guidance, wisdom, and advice, but only if asked. So you have to ask for this, okay? This is imagine yourself in the future with the um, distinct, you know, perspective of having lived a full, rich life. You know, your 111 year old self has seen it all. You know what I'm saying? Your ups, your downs, you know, your love. Your loves, your heartbreaks, you know what I'm saying? Your successes, you know, your perceived failures, you know, all of it. You know, if you was living right now and you was 111 years old, you would have already seen everything that it is that you need to see. You know what I'm saying? You would know all these things. For this extended, you know, perspective, they are waiting to be called in for guidance. All right. And these are the questions you can ask. This is what do you what do you, my 11 year old self, have to say about this? How can I follow my true path to where you are? What obstacles ahead am I seeing? Am I not seeing? All right. What What are the mistakes you wish you had made? Do you have any regrets? And these are the questions. Okay. These are things you can ask your elder self you know it don't necessarily have to be 111 years old you know what I'm saying but you know however whatever age you know what I'm saying just ahead someone who's more wiser than you are right now basically that's what they're saying okay So, ancestors, star seed, 111 year old self, you know, your ancestors are here, they're waiting on you to call on them. You know, you are a beautiful star seed, you know what I'm saying? You are chosen, you know. If you're here, you're definitely chosen. You're definitely, you know, wanting to, you know, elevate and, you know, upgrade, you know what I'm saying? And don't be, you know, shy to ask your older self, you know, for advice, you know what I'm saying? And I'm going to pull one more card. Yeah. We're going to go, but not forever. Okay. And I'm pulling from Beyond Lumera. All right, nothing but the highest light. God Almighty, Archangel's ancestor. Evil is never welcome here. And what is it that we need to go for a closing message? Thank you, Spirit. Shuffle three times and then I'm gonna lay them down. Then I'm gonna pull like that, okay? Because these are kind of big. One. Oh, well. <laughs> it came out anyway. Alright. Alright, let me get one more spirit. 
All right, I'll just take the one on the bottom. This one right here. Okay. All right. And then we have Radical Expansion. Surrender and reclaim your energy. All right, living and loving at full, you know, at full force, you know, um, being unapologetically you, self-expression, boldness, having a voice, taking up space, expansion, um, empowerment, owning your true power, being visible in the world, having fun with your, you know, magnificence, letting go of judgment, creative, exploration, radical ways of being. You know, um, basically just being yourself, you know, letting go of judgment, being who you really want to be in this world and show up and show out basically and um, do you, you know what I'm saying? Do you because now is the time. Okay. And then we have surrender. All right, surrender, uh, trust, letting go of control, free flow, you know, um, yin and yang, energy, inner knowing, intuition, you know, synchronicities, opportunities, getting out of your way, the path of least resistance, allowing who you naturally are to flourish, you know, surrender, surrender to the divine, you know, just surrender, you know, let go of fear, you know, let go of anything you know that will hold you back basically surrender all that mess you know what i'm saying and just move forward and like i say and continue to show out for yourself because can't nobody else do it better than you chad okay and this was one that was on the bottom you know and that's reclaim your energy all right all right, uh, where you put your energy, you know, is your choice. Overcome, overcoming triggers through self-awareness. Energy vampires, reclaiming your soul fragments. Observing an observer, shifting victim mentality. You know what I'm saying? You know, she's putting her crown on her head. You know what I'm saying? She's got all this going on within herself. You know, um, her heart is right here. You know, um she's aware you know what i'm saying she knows what's going on so you know always be aware of you know energy vampires be aware of people who try to guilt trip you on stuff you know take your power back from anybody anything you know that um that just makes you feel uncomfortable basically if it makes you feel uncomfortable and you have to be you know like um in a state of confusion about who you are and what it is that you want to do with your life you know you don't need to be around them people take your power back take your power back and just say these things say i reclaim my power i take my power back my power is my own i take it back and you know you can keep on you know saying these things and just keep saying them all right and so i just hope this message helps someone out here and um be sure to give your girl a big fat thumbs up. I love each and every one of you guys. You know, be sure to leave me some comments below. Um, I do. If you ask me any kind of questions, I do um, respond. I do not bite. Okay? Bite, bite. You know, unless it's uh, some ugly, something ugly, like I always say. And um, peace, love, and light. And be sure to. Uh, back by because I will be posting more you know beautiful messages okay love you all deuces mm -hmm.